that was a good um, Pokemon. Hey, you don't want to lose this one, by the way. So, well, are you ready for a movie review, man? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Get out of here! Um, movie review time. Yeah! So, yesterday we saw... Hostiles. 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 Now, we were originally going to see two other movies, which we did see the one. Yeah. But that's 12 it. Strong. March we of the saw Penguins. saw 12 Strong today. Um, but, no. Hostiles was a little like March of the Penguins. It was long and slow, but it was good. Long and slow, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, we saw it yesterday. We were going in not expecting a whole lot. We were like, okay, it's a western. I didn't even know it was a western. Like, Hostiles no, sounds good. No, so basically what happened, we went to the theater. Stop it. That's gay. What are you, fucking gay? We went to the theater. We wanted to see... Uh, I'm a straight man. <laughs> we wanted to see uh, 12 Strong, and we wanted to see Den of Thieves. But this guy, who works at the local movie theater, said that they don't have 12 Strong anymore, mm -hmm. which he lied to us. No, they didn't have and, yesterday. And uh, said that they didn't have Den of Thieves mm -hmm. anymore. So he recommended Hostels, which none of us knew existed. And we hadn't seen a trailer for it or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So we went and saw that. So uh, anybody want to go first as to... Well, um, I... Are we going to... Are we going to talk can about Can we intro? use spoilers or anything? Like, yeah. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert, yeah. From here on, if you care about the... Um, spoiler alert. Yeah. It, the, right at the beginning, the first five minutes, not even first ten, it's first five minutes, a baby gets headshot, little girls are murdered, and a guy gets scalped. Yeah. Yeah, like, if that's... Yeah, husband gets shot in the knee, then arrow through the chest. Yeah, and, and, then, gets, the and then gets scalped. Like, so... So the best way to put it is whenever you're going to write an essay, teachers are always like, oh, you need an attention getter. And the first five minutes of Hostels was a very good attention getter. Wouldn't you guys say so? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, because we were like, oh, it's a family and it's like a little house on the prairie. Yeah, yeah. And then oh. literally, literally, you see these, you see they're Cheyenne Indian, Cheyenne or Comanche, Ky they're Comanche. Comanche you see these Comanches. Uh, riding up on a uh, on their on horseback, and the father just grabs a Henry off, off from above the fireplace mm -hmm. and is like, "Get out of here! I got this!" And he oh, most certainly does not got this. Actually, yeah. the command use it. By the way, he misses all every, of every shot. shot. He for misses, some reason, he misses every shot. And they were like, but they're like dead eye with a peacekeeper revolver for some reason. Yeah. So the white men have the no rule of But uh, it's it is a. Uh, it is a, a Christian Bale film. He plays the main character very well, might I say. It's also got, uh, I don't know the actor's name, it's Todd from Breaking Bad, uh, the ginger dude. Uh, really good. Both really good actors. But uh, anything else you guys want to say about... Oh, the mom survives, and she becomes like a really good main character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so the the whole point of the film, like the whole theme... At least this is what I got from it. I don't know if you guys got this from it or not. But uh, to me, the whole th essential theme is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Because throughout the film, you have you have the mom who, you know, her whole family got murdered. And eventually, eventually Christian Bale's character has to escort uh, this Cheyenne war chief, who Yellowhawk, who, who's dying of cancer. He, they basically, he, he, his dying wish is to go back to Montana, where him and his tribe are from, and he wants to die there. Yeah, his land. He wants to go and, back. and the president writes an order and says that it's all right. It takes place in 1892, by the way. It says, yeah, go ahead and let him. So Christian Bale's character, he plays an, uh, an army, an army captain, I believe, and, or lieutenant or something. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we're, we're <laughs> trying to, to the Pope. We're doing a video. We're filming right now. Bale's character uh, has to escort this war chief. He doesn't. He's not good friends with the war chief because the war chief has killed two of his friends. I think killed a bunch of his friends, and you know, Christian Bale's character. His name's Joe, by the way. Joe has killed a bunch of uh, Chief Yellowhawk's friends, so they don't like each other. But he gets stuck with this mission of escorting this Cheyenne. His like chief. last mission. Before yeah, retirement, yeah. Basically. All the way back to Montana, and so they come across the house where the. Comanches burned and killed the whole family, and they find the woman, and 
And throughout the movie, I oh, feel like yeah. just the whole journey is, oh yeah, that was a messed up scene. Let's talk about the scene where they find the woman. She's laying there, or s- sitting there with the baby, and she's like, Shh, they're sleeping, and the kids are behind her in like the bunk bed. In, the in like a burn bed, over. in like a burn bed. And the covers are like pulled over them, and uh, like all the soldiers are like, what the <laughs> Yeah, fuck? yeah, and I think, I think we should also mention that the, she was carrying the baby when it got killed. And she never put the baby down. Like, the first half hour of the film, she's still carrying this baby that's, like... No, Just dead. rot, like, yeah. Yeah, and, like, flies are already starting to gather around it. But, but you know, so so I feel like the whole theme of the movie is forgiveness because mm-hmm. Christian Bale's character, Joe, has to forgive this war chief that's killed a bunch of his friends. And uh, I forget the woman's name, but she has to forgive, you know... The... The in the Indians in general. The Indians in general, because you know she ends up traveling with Joe and his his the Cheyenne, uh, his uh, the the family. the Cheyenne family and all the other U.S. Army soldiers think, that are yeah. that are going you know with him to Montana. Also, and she has to forgive you know. Granted, these Cheyenne Indians didn't, didn't murder her it. family, but she has to learn to she forgive has a the stigma Indians. That Indians are killers. And killers. Also, um, like what boosted uh, Joe's forgiveness was the war criminal. They yeah, pick up, mm-hmm. yeah, they pick up a war criminal. A douchebag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they pick up they pick up a war criminal, and you know, and it sort of softens Joe's heart towards Chief Yellowhawk. Mm-hmm. But just everything in the movie ties in really well with other aspects of the movie, like like them picking up the not just them picking up the war criminal, but the scene where. The scene where, uh, what was his name? The, the character with the black beard that was Joe's best friend. Oh, Brett from Cow Chop. Brett from Cow Chop. <laughs> uh, where he, uh, but he doesn't sleep and he lets the, he lets the Comanches out in the middle of the night. Well, no, they, don't, they, my theory was that he didn't sleep and he let them, but he let they the say, Cheyenne go and kill them. Yeah, the Cheyenne go and kill but them. They, but they, but it doesn't say that or anything. It mm-hmm. it's, makes it's people implied. it's implied that he yeah. felt because they eventually get the Comanches killed. But just the way that everything ties in with each other, and you know, there's a there's a scene where where the lady who her family got killed invites Joe into her tent, but all they do is just hold each other. A like comfort. They they comfort each other. Yeah, they don't you know, which. I think was it, it's like, like point in weakness, but they're rebuilding. Their yeah, streets. and it yeah. like I I really appreciate that you know she didn't pick him up, didn't pick Joe up. I think I think she's a grieving widow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think it would have been wrong if she you know used Joe as a like a as a booty call, like a rebound. Yeah, of sorts. Yeah. So, but uh, but there there are a lot of tense scenes. In the in the movie that I didn't find anything wrong with I didn't find with anything the movie. wrong with uh, that movie no like granted there were a lot of a lot of times that we were just cracking jokes but it is a really serious movie and it's a very tense movie and it keeps you on the edge of your seat and I think I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that we didn't know what we were going into. Mm-hmm. We didn't know the movie existed. Yeah, like, we didn't. We didn't see the trailers. We were like in the first beating, all of our reactions were like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, mm-hmm. like we were freaking. We out. We also like, had a oh theater God. all to ourselves. Yeah. So like the the moment that like those little girls get shot and like the dude gets scalped, we're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> so they, they show everything. Yeah, they experience. they you know. Uh, yeah. But to, and we're gonna talk about Twelve Strong later. But to compare and contrast to Twelve Strong. We went in and saw Twelve Strong. We didn't have a theater all to ourselves, which might affect how we acted. But we also all knew what Twelve Strong was about. We had all seen the trailers. We all knew what we were getting into, except for Johnny. But Johnny's not here. To... But, but no. So it's it's a really good film. I if I had to give it like a rating from zero to one hundred, I give it a ninety-seven percent. I'd give it. Yeah, around there, nice. And Just because you can't, I, you can never give something a full hundred percent. Mm-hmm. But it's oh, it's also got Herschel from uh, Oh the my Walking God, Dead. comes in at the end. He's like, get off my leg. Yeah, because they, because you know they're escorting the war chief to Montana. He gets shot like three times. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the and the woman picks up 
the 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 lady uh, picks up a, a Henry rifle too, which that's one thing that this movie does really well is the character transformation and showing the character change because from going to helpless woman from to going to like you know this this, this grieving widow to she picks up a rifle and and, and fights and, to live and Herschel's character you know sees her with the rifle pointed at him and says. Says something like, "I don't like, think you've got the guts yeah, to. Yeah, the guts. You don't have the guts to to pull that trigger." Mm -hmm. And she just and she shoots him just right in the head. Just like <laughs> she was, there was no pause. It was instantly after he finished that sentence. It was like boom, one to the chest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then he gets was, shot two more times. It was a, and that last scene was also a good gun scene, like a pretty yeah, decent yeah. fight scene. So uh, yeah, really shows like, Joe's comparatively characters. comparatively because I like, like it. Go ahead, go ahead. Because like later, like. And then, like, earlier in the movie, they said he'd scalped people. Mm -hmm. Joe scalps the last guy. No, he, he, he doesn't like, just scalp him. No, he, he, he doesn't he, even scalp him. Oh, he, no, no, my bad, my bad. He doesn't scalp him. He, like, he, he, he gets comes a knife up behind and him like, and, yeah, he, like, he like gets, the guy's he, walking away he gets him in out. the throat and yeah. just lets him... You see it from the back. You don't actually mm -hmm. see it, but, like... He stabs him a couple times and then just, like... Like, he's shot and he's running away but, and he just takes his knife. But, so, comparatively, I like... Hostiles better than I liked. Twelve strong. No, I was gonna say Magnificent Seven. Oh, because those are I mean, both. They don't compare. Yeah, because those are both recent, you know, westerns. I I agree with that. Magnificent Seven is just pure action because the only story behind it is woman needs someone to. Yeah, kill. yeah. We're just gonna kill this. You know, we're gonna kill this piece of shit villain. Mm -hmm. And there's no real. At least that I could find. I couldn't find a theme in Magnificent Seven. I couldn't find, you know, what's driving the plot other than we want to kill this this guy. Yeah. You know, this team. Hostiles, on the other hand, is, I would say, an accurate depiction of life in 18... The, the West... In Western United States mm -hmm. in 1892. And, and, you know, Magnificent Seven, a lot of it, like most of it's action, and it's good for filling your action kick, but Hostiles has a lot of a lot of really good scenes that aren't based around the action. Mm -hmm. I know you were commenting like a bunch of times on like the establishing shots and how good yeah. they were. Yeah. It's like it's like a if you're looking at a game, it's like a walking simulator. It's just nice scenery, but mm -hmm. like there's still a lot to it. Mm -hmm. But uh, all right, we're running out of time, so let's say uh, one last question. What do you guys think of the title? Oh, oh I it's it's weird. It's, it's, it's a, a weird title. It, to me, it's a no at first glance, but like hostiles when you think about it, because like, it's vague. Because like yeah, it, it can it covers a lot of themes. It's, but like Indians are hostile. I was thinking stuff. about it on the way home from the movie, and at first it makes no sense. Mm -hmm. But then to think about it, you have the Indians. You have you have the Comanche that are hostile towards them. Mm -hmm. Then you have those fur traders that mm -hmm. kidnapped the the women mm -hmm. that were hostile. Then you have the landowners that were hostile. Also the war criminal. The war criminal who was hostile. So yeah. so at first glance, you know, it's a vague and kind of a dull title that you know, you think, Oh well, couldn't mm -hmm. they have come up with something better? But I think the title is a testament to the fact that anybody can be hostile. Mm -hmm. The fact that anybody, especially in that time period, would try and mess you up. Yeah. <laughs> it would, you know, it's lawless, to, yeah. To, to, because it's the West. Mm -hmm. It's the West. Now, now, you know, I debated whether or not to call it a Western I, I think it's safe to say anything pre that date, pre predates pre 1900. Yeah. Is uh. Yeah, it's would be a western. Yeah. It's, do you like? Do you guys like the new westerns better than the old ones, or do you like the old ones better than the new ones? I like the Clint Eastwood ones. Westworld. I like the Clint Eastwood ones, but uh. Let's get a get a bit of mixture mix both right there. These newer ones are good because they're they're finally looking more at these situations mm -hmm. instead of just all out action. Well, there's a lot of good movies coming out. Not not just westerns like Hurricane oh, Heist, the <laughs> Geostorm. 
Hurricane Heist. Dude, you're running out of time. There's so. a lot of there's yeah, a yeah. lot of there's a lot of good military movies that are coming out too. To Twelve Strong. Except that one guy, you know. Yeah, we'll talk about. We'll strong. talk about Twelve Strong uh, next week. Next week, but uh, but yeah, I I, I say ninety seven percent. Sean said around that. What, what would you say? Would you say just around about ninety period? Just a, a solid nine out of ten. I'm yeah, I'm doing nine out of ten. Nine out of yeah. ten. Okay. And and Johnny Johnny said too. Christian Bale plays a tortured character in everything that he's in. Yeah. Which I think is is fair to, yeah. yeah. But, but uh, it's it? it's a ride. Let's wrap it up. All right. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. <laughs>